Performance Lab Sport combines safe, natural and muscle priming ingredients to give you the best performance during high intensity training. Learn more at the link in the video description. We're here at E3 2019 with Calypso Games. We're going to be checking out Tropico Sits. And I'm here with uh, Mark. Nice to meet you. And thanks for showing us Tropico Sits here. So the PC uh, release has gone really smooth so far. We're really happy with you know the kind of uh, feedback that we're getting from players. We are sitting on an 84 uh, user rating on Steam. So yeah. really happy with that. And uh, yeah, right now, uh, the focus is on uh, the console release for us, so we've been able to also take in some of the feedback and polishing the game to make the uh, release on consoles even s a smoother and better experience for the guys. For Tropico 6, in order to differentiate ourselves a bit from the predecessors, we figured, you know what, for El Presidente, one island is not enough. We want to give them a bigger playground to play with, so we went for this archipelago approach. So uh, you have multiple islands now, um, and uh, what we also figured is that this archipelago approach also blends in perfectly with the tropical setting. You have this uh, Caribbean feeling to it, so um, yeah, this kind of approach underlines the setting um, as well. Tropical 6 again features four eras, like in Tropical 5, uh, colonial times, World War era, Cold War era, and then modern times. Uh, to uh, give the players some meaningful ways to uh, engage uh, with the, the archipelago, we put a big emphasis on um, new infrastructure and public transportation, one of which uh, is, for instance, the bus garage, which we have over here. And this Oh, I cancel it. Uh, go for it again. And here we go. And I'm just going to quick build it to speed things up. And the bus garage allows me to uh, basically uh, create a starting uh, bus stop and an uh, ending one. This one I'll put, let's say, over here. So uh, this allows people to travel much quicker than they would usually do because obviously walking takes much more time. Speaking about the travel time, uh, in Tropico 6, um, Tropicans are fully simulated, which means that uh, production buildings like uh, the rum distillery over here, as an example, uh, it will only uh, operate if uh, workers are on site. Uh, okay. We see right now that all of those four workers are actually not at the rum distillery. That's why we're also not uh, creating any rum. So this is also where the public transportation uh, tools that we offer come into play because we want to ensure that the player can uh, make sure that uh, people get to work as quickly as possible, like in real life, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, especially in uh, LA, it's, uh, it's quite of an issue, uh, I've noticed uh, in, the in the recent days. Over here we can see tunnels, we uh, can utilize them to reach new areas. So for instance here we have a secluded area that normally you would only be able to um, uh, ar um, reach through landings that I showed earlier. You know, they provide a lot of resources that are interesting to, to get. Yeah. And uh, the tunnels allow me to simply, you know, speed things up a little bit uh, as it's going to be much quicker to get goods from one place to another going through this uh, tunnel on the roads rather than uh, you know across the sea basically. Another thing that uh, we have in Tropical 6 now uh, is uh, teleferics or cable cars. So uh, that's especially for us. Uh, I actually am a level designer. Uh, okay. So uh, it's a nice tool for us that allows us to play more with verticality because uh, as you can see here, the teleferic uh, tourists and tropicans can reach higher grounds and reach this, uh, in this case, this ancient ruins for, uh, for instance. Uh, ancient ruins is basically a tur touristic building. We can see that we have a little 
tourism um, area set up right there. So this is uh, one way that the player can use to get his economy up and running. Um, uh, to basically uh, get money through fees and uh, yeah. I can quickly show you uh, El Presidente's palace, which is uh, over here. Very nice. Yeah. So now it's also possible uh, in Tropical 6 to uh, customize your palace. So you can do multiple things uh, like uh, adjusting the layout of the palace. Um, you can uh, you know change the look of um, um, yeah paths and everything. Some things, as you can see here on the red carpet, they are locked, so they're tied to progression. This brings me uh, to a new feature that we're introducing with Tropico 6, and that are the so-called raids and heights. So I can quickly show you guys this Pirate Cove. Um, it's one of four unique um, raid buildings. And once I um, have that built, uh, access the raid screen. And here we have a bunch of options. So uh, on the one hand, uh, you can see that um, we can, uh, on the top left, there's a bunch of uh, resources uh, that we can gather. So basically with raids, uh, we, with the Pirate Cove, we send tropicans out on the sea to roam the sea and basically uh, um, s steal goods from other ships uh, and, uh, or from other islands um, and bring them back. It could, for instance, happen that um, on your island, you uh, depleted uh, uh, all of your mines, for instance, that uh, give you gold, and yeah. then uh, you basically run out of options. Uh, of course, you can always call back to the dock to import uh, gold, for instance, mm -hmm. but it can come at a high price. So uh, raids, uh, raids give you uh, another option, or gives players another option to use in these kind of situations. There's also heights, which we can uh, see down here, for instance, uh, Stonehenge. Heights allow you to basically steal uh, landmarks or world wonders from across the globe. Okay. And basically, uh, El Presidente can put them on his island to show off, basically. And attract a lot of tourists. So, uh, yeah. of course, those landmarks are perfect as tourist attractions. But each uh, landmark also comes with a unique... Um, uh, gameplay uh, effects. So if we have a look, the Statue of Liberty, just as an example, as you can see here, each all the immigrants that arrive on Tropico, you know, will support uh, El Presidente to 100%, which is a great uh, thing if you're not doing very well with um, uh, when it comes to uh, shortly before election. So yeah, it's it's again something one of uh, many things or possibilities the player can use to uh, react to different situations, basically. Okay. We are limiting them to four, so uh, in total. So you, you can uh, get one for each era, so maximum four, as we have, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we have four eras. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the maximum. We limit it. There were people, yes, that would like to have more, but since they have such a strong uh, impact on gameplay, it would just uh, break the balance of the game if we uh, enable too much. As we can see now also, we have a day and night system in place. So uh, right now the kind of mood of the, uh, the look and feel of the uh, daytime change. Um, so that was also something that we put a big emphasis on with Tropical 6 to provide uh, more visual variation. So you have your typical um, Caribbean tropical environments, but the game also comes with more deserty or arid kind of feeling islands. We have swampy areas. So yeah, a lot of different things that you can find when you um, explore the map. For instance, here we have a bit of more this kind of uh, old mining area um, kind of supporting that there's a lot of uh, resources that you can find so we also try to kind of with the way that we sculpt and uh, uh, create uh, the visual look that we do with the environments to support uh, you know the gameplay effects that are uh, happening Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I mean, I can always show you more, but um, yeah, I think this kind of wraps up the most important things. I mean, um, yeah, the, uh, 
release for consoles is scheduled end of uh, September. Yeah, and really looking forward to see if the reactions will be as great as they have been as for the PC release. Yeah. So, uh, are you guys have feature parity with PC upon release, or the two will be kind of in sync upon release? Yeah, feature-wise, it's uh, okay. same game across all platforms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have like a hard time like bringing over to a console because the controller limits you a bit? Or um, I mean, yes, there's uh, definitely uh, certain limitations um, that you need to take into account, uh, especially in the beginning of the development. It's a lot of technical stuff, so that you can really ensure that the game runs smooth, uh, um, FPS-wise on, on all platforms. And yeah, and we got there, so that, that's definitely uh, great. And yes, um, in regards to controls, of course, a game like Tropico, which with its menus, uh, you know, it, it has a lot uh, to dig in. Uh, it took a while to, to find the right balance. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, for me, uh, a, I am a, a PC gamer myself, uh, but now using the controller to demonstrate the game. And I, alre I already got uh, into rhythm a bit more and more. So I think. For people who are very familiar, they, they will get uh, into it really quickly. How long would it take like, for an average multiplayer game? Um, I think it depends a lot on which kind of victory conditions you define, but I would say an average game would probably be something around two to three hours. Yeah. Can you see like, what your opponent is up to? or. Yes. Yes. You can. You. You have. You, yes. You basically in the archipelago view. You can always go uh, to the other island and check out what kind of buildings he has and what he's up to. Yeah. yeah. And then is there a way to interact with your opponent besides just like? Yes. So of course, on the one hand, there's warfare. So you can um, basically s uh, attack your opponent. Uh, you. There's a, a wide range of. Um, military buildings um, that you can build that provide uh, military troops um, and also defense mechanisms uh, in case your opponent wants to attack you. Um, but you can also uh, engage in uh, non-military ways. So you can also uh, do trade. So imagine like a, a three player multiplayer game where you can uh, hook up with one of the guys and do trade and then team up against the third player so yeah there's a lot of options there. my favorite era actually I uh, do enjoy colonial uh, a lot <laughs> simply because um, uh, the let's say it's very relaxing um, uh, the amount of buildings is limited so you're not overwhelmed uh, with all the different uh, options that the game has to offer and um, Usually when, when I play Tropico, I enjoy the fact that it's so calming and relaxing and uh, I can just play at my own pace and uh, I noticed, yeah, I, I enjoy Colonial uh, a lot. Okay. Are you able to just like stick to one like uh, era if you want and just build in that? Um, I think, let me, that's a good question. Yes, I think there's the uh, option that when the era transition comes, or let me put it this way, in missions, um, there's the uh, option to continue to play. So usually in missions, uh, you have certain goals to achieve, which could be, for instance, reach uh, the next era. And then once you did that, you can continue to play as long as you like. 